Hello, Dr. Mintz again. This is a young person who presented, an infant, young infant, who presented with vomiting, often projectile vomiting. And this is a diagnosis of pyloric stenosis. And it's ultrasound. I'll be uh, brief here. I just wanted you to get another idea of how useful ultrasound is and how operator dependent it is. In other words, we the radiologists uh, will depend a great deal on the images that we're provided and we can be misled if uh, an ultrasonographer is not good uh, and that's why we have a great deal of conversation with them unlike other imaging modalities. Anyway, this is a good example of pyloric stenosis. The important findings are that you have a thick wall of the pylorus. Now this could be any area of this, the abdomen, but uh, if you look closely, this is liver, and this is gallbladder, and you know the duodenum and uh, pylorus are close to the gallbladder. So this is fluid in the stomach, and this is the pylorus, the area, the channel through which this fluid should pass. So this is in the distal stomach or the gastric antrum, and it wants to get through the pyloric channel in the pylorus here, but it cannot because this muscular wall is too thick. It is enlarged. It's hypertrophied. So that is the cause of pyloric stenosis. In this case, the hypoechoic darker area here is the muscle, and the mucosa is bright, a little whiter here, and some of the other images are excellent. This is as good an example as you will see anywhere, better than you'll see in most textbooks, it so happens. So here you have gastric content in the pylorus. It wants to go through the, through the antrum. I mean, I'm, it's in the antrum, and it wants to go through the pylorus into the duodenum. But we have pyloric stenosis, and look how thick this is. This is probably three or four millimeters thick. It should only be about, at most, two millimeters. The length is also abnormal. That should be about 12 millimeters long. This is close to two centimeters long. It's two centimeters. And that's uh, three and a half, 3.6 millimeters. So it's too thick, it's too long. And as important as any images is the fact that the ultrasonographer will see that this content in the gastric antrum is not emptying. Normal infant or normal person of any age, if given fluid in the stomach, the fluid will intermittently empty through the pylorus and, in, and through the, uh, from the antrum through the pylorus. And in this case, it's basically almost frozen shut Sometimes, depending on the degree and severity of pyloric stenosis, it may open a little bit or intermittently. So, even though these images are themselves diagnostic, one of the most important supportive findings is that the ultrasonographer tells us that this did not open during imaging. And very often, for this type of examination, as well as for intersusception and other uh, selected studies, we, the radiologists, will go back there and observe with the ultrasound tech to get a good feel for exactly what it is they're seeing and just to make sure that uh, we agree with their observations. So here again, fluid in the gastric antrum. This is the pylorus. The pyloric, muco the pyloric uh, muscle is too thick. This is the pyloric channel with the mucosa on each side. So this is muscle layer here, and this is muscle over on this side because it's actually, of course, a cylindrical structure. And this is the canal, and it's basically occluded. So the content of the gastric antrum cannot pass through the pylorus into the duodenum. So that is classic appearance of pyloric stenosis. Typically occurs in the newborn period, first few weeks or a few months typically first few weeks, and uh, the infant uh, presents with projectile vomiting. You can see here the uh, muscularis muscle layer is 
over four millimeters thick, and you can really begin to appreciate how thick it is here. But once again, these measurements are important, but a vital component is the observation that content of the antrum is not passing through the pylorus into the duodenum as it should. Look at this. This is, uh, maybe you'll see images like this, but you'll never see any that are better than this. This is as good as it gets. Pyloric stenosis.